Right, so we've uh, come out into the woods with, with Molly. Is here. Come here, Molly. Come on. Come here. And uh, we've come to see what we can find in the woods today. Okay, so we found some brambles here. You can see them. And they uh, should be in sort of best in the season right about now. Now being just the beginning of September. So a little tip when you're picking raspberries, blackberries, a little tip when you're picking blackberries is that um, the very tip one is the best just to eat straight off the off the plant. So you're looking for the, the tip one which will be the, the juiciest and the sweetest and the rest are good for, for jams and pies. So we'll try that. Nice and sweet. Right, so what I found here is, uh, is some birch polypore, or tinder bracket as it's known, and uh, obviously you only find it really grown on birch trees. Um, and as the name suggests, it makes really good tinder for, for use with your fire stick. So I'll just give you a quick show of that, and uh, I'll explain how you, how you use that as a tinder. Right, so here's some polypore that I found. What I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to show you the parts that can be made into tinder. So I'll just show you that there. The black outer surface that we're shaving away. So you'll need quite a sharp knife for this. Careful not to chop your fingers off. It's just this dark outer layer that you're cutting away. Shave it off. It should start to reveal a brown inner drama layer it's called. Now it should have quite a spongy feel to it. Just cut a piece out there. Right, so I don't know if you can see that. It's got quite a spongy, leathery, flexible feel. Basically what you can do with this, you can either just dry it out and beat it into a sheet. Um, that pretty much is good enough. Or if you really want, you can boil it for 24 hours um, and beat it out into a sheet and it works a lot better. Or if you really want to go even further, you can boil it for 24 hours, beat it out, then boil it again for another 24 hours in hardwood ash. Um, and that, that makes it tick an ember or spark uh, really well. And that's a way carry that in your firebox and you can light that with your with your fire stick so there you go tinder bracket here we've got a yew tree um just show you the foliage there sort of green flat leaves um it's starting to fruit this time of year you can see the berries there I'll try and show you them they're the berries, uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's like an olive, reverse olive. Quite poisonous, so I wouldn't go eating them. Mm, what I found here is some cramp ball. There's two of them there, if you can see them. Just little black spheres. Uh, another good way of starting fire. Um, you can actually use them as charcoals as well if you've got enough of them. Basically just dry them out and break them open. And they've got silver concentric rings inside that shows you that they should be pretty good and you just uh, strike your spark stick onto them and just blow the embers gently so they spread and you can either add that to your the your rest of your tinder bundle or like I say you can just cook on it if you've got enough of them because they give off quite a lot of heat well I've wanted to show you how to make fire so I've found some birch here that's snapped I'm off to the dry bark and I'm going to show you how to use the, the dry bark as tinder. Right, so you take your knife, it needs to be quite sharp for this, and you take your piece of dry birch that you found, it's just sheet peeled off the tree. Um, the tree peels naturally, so you're not doing any harm by peeling this off. So you just take your sheet, and rest it on the hard surface, preferably not your leg, but I'm doing this out of ease of showing you. And you just, Rub your knife back over. Just 
and what you end up with is curls of birch on the bark. Like that. And just lay that on your leg. Put your knife away once you're finished. Get your fire steel out. It's just a army fire steel. Any fire steel will do. Obviously the thicker the better, it lasts longer and it's not gonna snap. Striker, that's just a plain non-serrated striker. I've filed the edge down there and make it a bit rougher. Just expose the fresh flint. And there you have it. So, a little time and effort there, but uh, it has been quite damp out in the woods here. But that's how you basically get a flame from just scraping birch and uh, fire steel. Right, what I'm looking for now to show you is um, cuckoo pint, or lords and ladies. And it's basically, um, it's a berry that grows out the ground. And uh, it's quite poisonous, but just thought I'd show you it because it's quite interesting. You probably see it quite a lot and don't actually, don't actually realise what it is. So just gonna have a look through the woods now and see if I can find you some. So me and Molly have found some cuckoo pint or lords and ladies. That's it there. That plant just sticking out the ground. Um, just on the end there, I don't know if you can see, I'll get a bit closer. Clumps of berries on it. Um, it's actually quite poisonous. It contains a uh, calcium oxalate, which sort of irritates your mouth and your skin. And uh, if you obviously if you eat them, it can cause you to suffocate because your throat swells up. So, not really something you want to be touching or eating. But, funny looking plant. Right, so that's it for now. Um, that's a little walk in the woods just to see what's there. Um, we'll uh, have to decide what to, what to do next time before the camera before the camera rolls off these logs and breaks. No, we'll have to decide what uh, to to show next time. So thanks for watching.